Hey gang, welcome back. We're talking about, we're getting ready for exam one. We're gonna crush it, okay? Exam one, review problem number four. This one is over elastic elongation, right? Uh, from a uh, axial load, axial elongation. Uh, this is a statically indeterminate axial elongation problem. Let's see if we can do it, okay? We've got a steel, tube, a sleeve, with an aluminum core bonded to it, okay? And they asked us if it, if it undergoes a, an elongation force, a tensile force, of 200 kilonewtons. There's another one over here, isn't there? Does that make the tensile force 400 kilonewtons? No, Johnny Wicksaw. So remember, if you cover it up, you only look at half of it. 200, that's the action force. That's the reaction force. So total force on that thing, 200 kilonewtons, okay? So find the average normal stress. That's sigma stress, isn't it? Sigma in the aluminum, and then find sigma in the steel. Okay. Well, that's just going to be P over A, and that'll be P over A. Now, I think that the P for the aluminum is different than the P steel, right? As a matter of fact, that's one of our compatibility equations, isn't it? Okay. Of the 200 that's on the whole thing, what's happening? Well, I'll tell you this, that P steel, because the, the, the steel is carrying a little bit of the force, plus P aluminum, the aluminum's carrying a little bit of the force. I don't know how much. I don't know, 50%, 50%, I don't know, 60, 40, I don't know. We're going to find out though, right? But I know that that total thing has to add up to 200 kilonewtons. That's a compatibility equation number one. Okay, number two, these are, and I call these like logic equation, right? That's just like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, the next one, compatibility equation is going to be, look at this thing. If I stretch it, what do I know? What do I know about the stretch in the aluminum versus the stretch in the steel? Well, since they're bonded together, they're hooked together. If one stretches an inch, the other one has to stretch an inch, right? They have to stretch the same amount. So, <clears throat> number two, we know that delta aluminum is going to be equal to the delta in the steel, okay? Now, all of this stre stretching is coming from force, okay? So, for our delta equation, we're going to use this guy, PL over AE, right? The other one that we learned in this chapter is delta, but that was due to temperature, right? That was alpha L delta T, but we don't have any temperature change here, so this one's not going to take effect. As a matter of fact, Stay tuned, watch the next video, and there's an example problem on that topic, okay? But on this one, we're going to live in the PL over AE world, or the play equation, as my students like to call it, okay? All right, so here we go. This is what we need for the first two, right? What's the normal stress in aluminum? What's the normal stress in steel? And then find the total elongation, that's delta, so we can find this, or we can find that, doesn't matter which one, because guess what? They're the same. Okay, so let's take, a, well, let's just find something easy. How about this guy? Area of the aluminum and area of the steel, right? Because we need, we need that for here. This is aluminum, A, L, and this is steel, S, T. Okay, so let's see. The aluminum area, that ought to be easy, right? That's just pi times R squared. What is R? Now, the aluminum is the inside, right? The aluminum is the inside, so the ID, the inside diameter of this whole thing, is 55, okay? So, on, what's 55 divided by 2? Pi R squared. Pi times 27.5 squared. Let's see what that is, right? Let's see if I can do this. Shift Pi. I don't have my TI-36 Pro times 27.5 squared equals 2,375.83. And that's millimeters squared, okay? And what's this guy on here? It's pi OD, which is uh, 75, 75, that's 37.5 in it. 37.5 squared minus the ID, which is that number there, isn't it? 
2375.83 equals. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Pi times 37.5 squared equals er, minus 2375.83 equals er, 2042. Point, point zero millimeters squared. Okay, so we'll need those two for here. As a matter of fact, we could just kind of stick them in there since we already got them. The aluminum is what, 2375.8, and this one is 2042.0. And I'd kind of like to have that top up there in Newtons, right? Then I'd have Newtons over millimeter square, and my sigmas would be in megapascals, right? You got it. Okay, here we go. Let's build this guy right here, the second compatibility equation. Let's take these deltas and we'll just expand it with this big guy right here, okay? So we got this. The aluminum is what? PL over AE. P is, uh, I don't know what P is. It's P aluminum, isn't it? Times L. We'll just put L. Guess what? It says 400 right there, doesn't it? It says 400. I don't need it right now, do I? I'm going to show you why here in just 10 seconds, okay? Divided by A. A for the aluminum is 2375.83 uh, times E. And I want E in newtons over millimeter squared. My, that way my millimeter squared cancel out and I'll have newtons left, which I want my P to be in newtons, right? So E for aluminum is, uh, there it is right there, 68,900. Newtons over millimeter squared. Bam. Okay. This guy right here was in millimeter squared also when it's look. Bam. Those go away. Leaves me with Newtons down there. Is equal to, here comes the second one. That's this guy right there, right? P steel times L. Guess what? This L and that L, same L. Let's divide some L's. What the L, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Divided by the area. 2042.0, let's just put it like that, okay, times E, and E is 200 gigapascals, which is 200 thousand megapascals, okay? Bueno. Okay, so 2042 times 200,000 equals, uh, big number, okay, 408400000, and that's P aluminum. What did I do? I multiply that times this side, I multiply that times that side, right? 2375.83 times 68900 equals, uh, 163, 694, 687, P steel. Let's see, let's take that number and divide it by that number, okay? How about that? So 408, 400, divided by answer equals. Uh, 2.0. Point four nine five P A L equals P S T. We just got a ratio there relating P A L to P S T. That's super cool, yo. But what do I do with that? Okay, hey, check this out. Put it right there, right? For P steel, for right there. Let's put this in there. 2.495 P aluminum. So that much plus another P aluminum, that's got a one in front of it, doesn't it? That makes, let's go plus one. Plus one equals 3.495, right? And we'll take that, oop, divide it into the 200, and we get that P A L is equal to 200 divided by answer equals 57.23.
kilonewtons. So that's of the 200, the aluminum is carrying 57.23, and the steel, which is a stronger material, right, is carrying 200 minus answer equals 142.77. Dude, this is not bad at all, is it? Give me this on the test, right? P aluminum goes here, 57 point, oh, let's just call it this, 57,230. I just turned it from kilonewtons into newtons, so that way I got newtons over millimeter squared. That gives me megapascals, doesn't it? 140,770. Okay, here we go, gang. Here we go. 57,000. 230 divided by 2,375.8 equals 24.1 mega pascals, right? That's one of our answers. That's answer A. Bam! Let's get answer B. 142.770 divided by 2042 equals air. 69.9, 69.9 megapascals. Bam! There's answer B. Okay, what's left? Answer C down here, what does it want? Find the total elongation of the assembly. Okay, we can go right back to this equation here. Okay, let me get my eraser. Okay, let's just erase this. Let's get rid of this all over here. Okay. And let's get rid of all of that. And then let's adjust this equation. Let's put our L back in there, right? Because the L for the aluminum is 400. Okay. And then P aluminum, do we know that? Yes, we do. P aluminum, I'm gonna erase that guy too. 57,230 Newtons. Why did I expand it? Because I got Newtons down there. I need those to cancel out because this whole thing is going to be equal to Delta. Now look, those millimeters cancel out, the Newtons cancel out, and what do I have left? Just millimeters. That's good what I want, right? So the total elongation of the aluminum, which is equal to the steel, is 57,230 times 400 equals divided by 2375.8 equals er, divided by er, 68900 equals er, point one four zero millimeters. That's the total elongation of the assembly when I get done. Remember, I did the aluminum. If I would have done the steel on the other side, I should get the exact same number, shouldn't I? All right, what do you think, axial elongation with a little bit of compatibility equations? You got it? Man, I hope you make 100. Send me an email. Tell me you made 100 on this test. Let's go.